Hi, I'm Sarge Bing with Earthwalker Primitive. Let's go over another class here on uh, water procurement. Now that I got snow on the ground, I want to go over a couple things about uh, using snow to, uh, to find water and use it for drinking water. Um, in a survival situation, when you're out in the cold and you're actually surviving and trying to bear the elements, um, is eating snow really a good thing to get water? Well, in my opinion, and most of the people's opinion, no, it's not. Uh, a couple reasons. If you eat this snow, which snow itself is clean, clean water, um, it will provide you some water. But one thing you got to remember is snow is 90% air, 10% water. So in just this bit of snow here, it's very, very little bit of water. Uh, plus, this, this water is below freezing. So if you're ingesting this in your system, your body is one, you're cooling your, your, your down your core temperature, which is what you don't want to do. Plus, you're burning more calories and more energy just to heat up this water for your body to heat it up and melt it for uh, to, be, to make it able for your body to ingest it. Your body has to ingest water or water that's uh, body temperature above. Freezing water, it won't ingest; it'll just flush out. That's why when you drink ice cold beverages and beer and stuff like that, it, it tends to go right through you because it doesn't ingest ingest that water very fast until it uh, heats it up, the excess is just flushed out. So, uh, eating snow, solely just eating snow to survive, is one, going to hydrate you very, very little, plus you're going to be burning all that hydration off just by trying to heat it up, plus it's going to drop your core temperature, which is very dangerous. Uh, the best thing for you to do is melt that snow. Um, now you can take it, put it in a container, put it up against your body, and it'll gradually melt it, or you can melt it over a fire. Um, but you definitely want to melt down that snow, heat it up. Plus, you also have a heated up, uh, you have a heat heated up drinking source that's going to warm your body even more and help raise your core temperature. Now, in a life death situation, if you were in dire need of some liquid, taking a little bit of snow and ingesting it, uh, it could help you. It could be good for you. But I would only be doing that if I was melting snow at the same time that I knew that I was going to get some more fluids and get warmer fluids into my system. So you definitely just don't want to go around picking up snow and eating snow and just solely surviving off of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to melt this snow and uh, make it some drinking water. Now, of course, the snow just falls from the sky. It's purified. It's clean. Um, unless there's dirt or, or scat or anything in it, you obviously won't want to use that. But if you're just picking up fresh fallen snow, it's perfectly safe to ingest we're going to boil it anyway, which is going to uh, clean it up even more. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and put, I'm going to show you how how much snow it takes just to fill up a canteen of water. We're going to start off with a little bit of snow, because like I said, water itself is 90% water and 10% and oxygen. Snow is completely opposite. It's 90% oxygen, 10% water. So we're going to go ahead and start melting down this snow. See, these are pretty big lumps. We're actually going to see how much snow this actually produces as we melt it down. And believe it or not, it does take a while for snow to melt. That snow in there is completely melted. A big lump of snow that I grabbed and put it into this pot and melted. And it's very little snow. I'm going to pour it out here. That's all That's all the water that that big lump of snow produced. 90% air, 10% water. That's all that that snow produced. So you can see that Eating a lump of snow that big is not giving you much water at all. And then what you're doing is you're burning extra energy, extra calories, extra, nah, extra body heat, just trying to heat that snow up to the point where your body can ingest it. And at the same time, you're dropping your core temperature. We're going to go ahead and put some more in there. See how much, how long it takes for me to fill up a canteen of boiling water. That's why I 
never recommend anybody eat snow at all um, to try to ingest water because you're really not getting much. You're expending more energy, more calories, more time, and you're putting yourself at a greater risk for that little bit of water that I just poured out. Best bet is to let it melt, put it in a container, get it up against your body, or boil it so it's warm and hot. And you can see how, like I said, it's 90% air, so most of this is just boiling off in steam. Hardly any water, there's a big chunk of snow in there, but hardly any water at the bottom because most of it's oxygen, it's just steaming right off. So if you're like me and needs a cup of tea every morning before I start out in the woods, it's a long wait. I haven't had my tea yet. Never fares fails where I sit. I attract smoke. All right, all those lumps you saw me put in there so far—they're completely melted, and I don't even have a half a canteen. I only have a half a canteen cup full of water yet. With that big lump, it puts over a little bit of a half a canteen cup. We're almost full. And just so you know, I just tested that water. Just tested that water, and even though on the fire and melting down, it's still ice cold. So, <coughs> if even over a fire, this water is still ice cold, that just shows you how long it takes for that snow to heat up. Uh, if you're ingesting that snow in your body, it's not going to heat up. Your body's either going to uh, pee it out, or it's just going to drop the core temperature before it even gets absorbed. So, your safest bet in any situation is to boil or melt down your water. And as you can see, I just now, after all that time, got a full canteen cup of water. Which is still ice cold. I still have to leave it here for it to boil up and get hot.
warm enough so I can finally make myself my morning tea. So I hope you learned something here. Uh, I hope you take these uh, this advice it, it, you know, to heart when you're out there. And if you are in a situation that uh, it definitely isn't safe uh, or productive to be eating snow for water, take that snow and find a way to melt it down if you can. So I'm Sergeant Speakman with Earth Walker Primitives. Thank you.